Christians, they say, you know, the better you are on earth, the higher rank you are in heaven as a... Sounds a bit bullshit, no? So Christmas, if you do all the research, it's basically Coca-Cola. Yeah. Coca-Cola marketing Christmas the way it is today. Yeah. And it's become the most important fucking holiday in the world based on a fucking drink. Don't you feel like if you were to die tomorrow, you wouldn't be scared? Not even if if you knew it was coming. A hundred percent not, I swear. You wouldn't be scared. No. You would. Cat Williams is like uh, I don't wanna go to heaven. Like I'll just be walking around like there's no one there. Good. Alright. So it's episode 27. 27. Episode 27. 27, boys. Yeah, before you know it, it's 30. We're almost at 50. One subs. more. <laughs> well, not one more. <laughs> Two. Mean, stop. Yeah. Stop trying. Two more. Stop trying. 30, bro. Stop trying. We're almost at 50 subs on YouTube. One more. No. We've got a Thanks few followers on uh, Spotify. So thank you for that. Yes. Uh, we're supposed to be saying from the beginning of the episode, reminding people to like, subscribe, comment, share, share follow us on Spotify, do all that stuff. If you follow enjoy back. the episodes, seeing as you clicked here, you're probably one of the regulars. So I would assume that you should subscribe and like and leave comments and all that. Yes. Right. Um, we're going to talk about death. Well, yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, unalivation. An- alive Analivation. Analivation with pew pews? With, with well, pew pews. Well, I guess as we're going to find pew out. Pew. As we established the last episode. Star Wars. Uh, I guess we're going to find out how they, how they kill people. But uh, before we start that, obviously, don't forget about November. We're doing the events. Yes. Um, yes. Next week, I'm going to have a plan. So we'll see what we're going to do about marketing that event. Mm. Uh, if you're watching this, you should try and come. Bring your girlfriend. She's going to fucking love it. And the reason for that is it's a Cap St. George. which is uh, <laughs> I was going to say, like, Andoni is here. No. Okay. Oh, because I'm, yeah, I'm that guy now. I now? I don't know. Now, yeah, exactly. Are you, talking, you thought Chris was talking for me? Yeah, yeah. No. Just like pimping uh, you I out. thought I was telling people, bring your girlfriend. So Andoni wow. can like, have a crack at her. That's okay, bro. A crack That's at you them. You explain that to them. Have uh, a crack time. at them. Have a crack at them. Because <laughs> they have issues? They're broken? What? Like, I'm just not going to go further into this. This, is, <laughs> is, this already... doesn't need explaining. Okay? <laughs> Like stop right. analyzing it. All right, all right. All right. All bring right. your girlfriends you, you at your own this. risk. Yeah, bring no. <laughs> bring your girlfriends to enjoy Cap St. George, a nice seafront establishment that's all about luxury. I'm never and talking comfort. to your girlfriend again. <laughs> Keep her on a leash. Like, bro, I'm never talking to you again, bro. <laughs> on a leash. Um so yeah. Come watch us live in November. Bring mm-hmm. your girlfriend so she can go to the spa at Cap St. George. Yes. You're gonna win both ways. You know, and, oh, after, and afterwards we can you're maybe a, have a drink together. You're a winner that and day. And all that, yeah. She'll love you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she'll love you forever. Yeah. yeah that's and if you don't have a girlfriend, come and you might find one. Yeah, there's going to be thing. there's gonna be a lot of Russian people there. Oh, one bro. thing I noticed is a lot of these content creators that are coming out of Cyprus mm-hmm. are Russians are not, are not from Cypriots. Limassol. And not a lot of Cypriots, no. quite a few, uh-huh. but not, a, not the majority. A lot of the Russians will have Cypriot roots. Somehow, like they're, either a father or a boyfriend, they get involved. They're, they get involved with the local culture. Yeah, yeah. they get married. It's very they easy have for children. them. I don't know how. Because our cultures because are quite similar, really. They're good looking. Oh, huh? They're Christian Orthodox. Mm-hmm. Oh, and they need papers. What? Who said oh. that? Anyway, um, so today apparently we're going to talk a little bit about death and the afterlife, right? Yeah. Is that how we put it? Yes. Um, Slash religion. I mean, it falls into the whole category. We've done a little bit on this before, but we're going to go another direction with it now. Mm -hmm. Going to focus Mm -hmm. on a different part of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, Obviously, we know about our heaven. I mean, I don't know how much you want to talk about that. Yes. The most complicated one, I would say, was the Egyptians. Mm. Because they were mummifying them, weren't they? Yeah. They were like taking out all the organs and wrapping them up and doing all that well, stuff be, for the afterlife. Before no? we get into all that, Go. I want to know what your own personal opinions of what happens is. <laughs> okay. My body will mm-hmm. become one with the earth. Okay. And my soul. Your spirit. Spirit. Yeah. The energy that 
creates that will be the transformed life. into another form of energy of some kind, whether that's mm-hmm. human, whether that are, I'm still me of life or someone else, it or maybe you it will become something else. Right. You believe that you can evolve into, I don't know. I really don't know. I I'm, don't I'm know. hoping to Something evolve, like eh? What? Yeah. To like I don't a know. Pokemon or what? No. What to like a higher dimension. Because, you know. Oh, you mean become, still be human without the body kind of thing. Still yeah, be yeah, you without the body. Basically. I don't know. I mean, not well, exactly. if you go with the Christians, they say, you know, the better you are on earth, the higher rank you are in heaven as a... Sounds a bit bullshit, no? Uh, sounds like a pyramid scheme. Yeah. Yeah. Like a cult. But uh, yeah, I'm on the same beliefs. Like, it's not the end. It's so the it's end not. So basically, to to just sum it up, you don't believe that there's like you know a um, man in the sky, heaven, and you go in, and there's angels and and again the and Christian and view of things no. of heaven. You don't believe in like God not, in not, that way. I think again, that's just a story book for to simplify heaven of what. You know, they can I think it's just to give people that don't have any control a sense of safety. Like there's yeah. something <laughs> something good waiting yeah, for yeah. them. Yeah, yeah. Like if you live your life right now. Yeah, you gotta make it perfect. You gotta make it perfect up there. You yeah. know, in order to be mm-hmm. uh worth your whole life sacrifice. You know, to it has to be better be the best place. So they sell the best place. Yeah, heaven. So heaven, you just yeah. think that we, like everything else in the universe, we just transfer our energy into well, something there's different. Well, theories, bro. Because you, you can't know, kill some energy, Some say can you? you, you know, if you had a really, really hard life, you go to a better life. Some say if you had a really good life, you come to a harder life. You, you You're live talking every, afterlife. You live every single version of life that can be lived. Not as Kiri, Chris. You're talking reincarnation, sorry. In every single way, like you could be a tree, you could that energy, mm-hmm. as Chris said, I think when you die, you just that get is recycled. Into something. It's recycled into something else. Well yeah, because it's not the end. Because everything there is, is a no circle. End. You can't destroy energy. It just becomes exactly. something else. It transforms. Yeah. It transforms. It energy else. can't be destroyed. No. That's yeah. been proven now. Um but on that as well. You're not just worm food. It's I mean, your body is. I don't yeah. think we talk about your energy. Though. I don't That's think humans thing. have the capability to use language to express whatever the fuck happens. Well, no, because, do you think we have right? the comprehension for it? Maybe some people do without being able to put it into words. So right, I, I think I don't know if I've said this, but before. language doesn't help. With uh, Joe Rogan and Elon Musk, mm. they tried to explain, you know, what communication, communication, language, right? Yeah. And Elon was like, let's say I've got a very, very, very complicated idea. If I do my best job, I will be able to put that idea into words about 75% accuracy. Mm -hmm. Maybe less. Yeah. Yeah. If I'm really well spoken. Yeah. Now, to the person I'm talking to, there's another filter of what your understanding is, Mm -hmm. plus what you can put together with the words I said. So, yeah, like so we're left with about 20, yeah. 25%. So this, in comparison to other animals, is ridiculously low level of communication. And whatever, like the closest we can get to explaining that is talking the language of maths and physics. That's, yeah, right? but again. But again, it doesn't have all the answers. No. It doesn't have all the answers. It does, we just don't know them. Is eh. We've not got there yet. No, because you've got quantum shit. Yeah. Yeah, so we don't we, know. We just quite, can't understand yeah, we can't, shit. Yet. Yeah, so yeah, it man. exists out there, but scientifically, we don't know how to yeah. uh, use it to explain what we believe is happening or, or what is actually happening. Right? Do you know what each sort of religion believes about after after life? Some of them. What do you know? So obviously, Christianity has heaven and hell. Mm-hmm. I think that's across the board of all the different versions of Christianity: Orthodox, Catholic, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. Um, so that's Christianity. I know that the ancient Greeks used to float you down the river with a f- couple of coins. Send you the down to the afterworld. And to yeah, Hades. send you down to the afterworld. The Vikings used to burn the boat after Valhalla. Because they would float into Valhalla. What, what which is basically op- fucking the 12 Earth Age Olympus. Yeah. Valhalla um, is like another version of the Olympic gods. Olympic lo- gods, yeah. I don't know. Oh, by the way, it's the 12. Olympic gods is so also 
Who was the 13th of uh, Jesus? The apostles. Jesus. What's he done? What? 13, uh, 12, right? Like Plus Zeus? Like, yeah, Plus yeah. Zeus? No, Zeus 13. was part no, of them. He was part of the 12. Yeah. Right, so, yeah. so was Jesus, right? No, he was Jesus plus 12. Yeah. So yeah. yeah. So but, uh, Jesus and then his entourage. Same you know? number. Yeah. Same number. Yeah. Oh, is that? Oops. 12. <laughs> Coincidence. Um, oh, that's all right, bro. That's one in an infinite chance of happening. <laughs> if you break it down. It's like, like, <laughs> like bro. <laughs> there, there's similar dates in uh, Egyptian... Uh, yeah, and, had and the, the story is very similar to Jesus, isn't it? Yeah. Well, they had a virgin yeah, yeah, yeah. mother, uh, died at the age, uh, Jesus died at the age of this. The whole story, basically. Christmas, the whole thing, everything. Was Christmas, the, the yeah. 25th of December, blah, blah, blah. So the ancient Egyptians, I think it was different. The pharaohs were an exception, but generally speaking, you would have your heart weighed to see if you were good or something. And basically, then, it was basically... Um, yeah, they would judge your actions on earth, mm -hmm. uh, whether you were, you did more good things, more bad things, if you're pure of heart, all this bollocks, supposedly. And yeah, it would de go to decide, hell hell. Yeah, decide where Again, you go. Again, heaven and hell. Basically, their version of it, yeah. yeah. I don't it's know Muslims. What do Muslims like? I know this stereotype. Versions? I know that, that stereotype, one, yeah. but is that factual? Or is, yeah, that, yeah. is that an accomplishment if you... No, that's just like, the one that because it's related to being promiscuous and that is kind of against religion, a Christian Orthodox, who are the most promiscuous fucking religion in the world, like to point that out of the Muslim culture. Oh, he wants his 12 virgins. Like, do you know what I mean? They like to point that out. 12 or 72? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if it's uh, at all real. Four. Anyway, uh, anyway, yeah. I, I don't know if they even believe that, if that's just some bullshit that yeah, people made up. Yeah, that's just probably a Western world of... It, no, it's so definitely not made up, but it doesn't mean that that's the whole point. Yeah. Stop right? playing with your dread. Why? You just, I don't know, you're stressing me out. I feel like you're going to cut it. This you, is a thin you bit. think this is one just, hair? No, that's loads. That's what I'm saying. It's going to come off. a lot off. of hair here, bro. I don't know. I could it's getting like, thin there. My hair is getting thin. That bit on the top is thinner than the All bottom. All right, I'll play it's with just, this one. That's that one's thick. better. Uh, you feel better now? I feel better, yeah. It's safer. Stressing me Protect, out. He's protecting my dreads. <sighs> this is what I have. To I do could just with. see you playing like that, and it just comes there. off in your hand, and you're just like, "That's huh. a that's a weird phobia you've got there of uh, hair falling, hair yes. loss." Yeah. yeah, weird. Wow, huh? how did that? I if it just starts, it, it won't good. stop. I'll tell you something. Even Kick if it in. does, I I'm good. I know it's the beginning of the end. No though, for one you. will notice. It's the beginning of the end. No, Let's get back on track. Yeah, Talk to me yeah, about yeah, death, Andoni. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So. Funny enough, before I say anything about death, I just want to point this out about uh, Christmas. So Christmas, if you do all the research, it's basically Coca-Cola. Yeah. Coca-Cola marketing Christmas the way it, it is, is today. Yeah. And it's become the most important fucking holiday in the world based on a fucking drink. If you don't believe me, it's a good advert though. They have the the the, and the if you trucks, just, if you just think, through. If you just the whole think, world. I mean. Oh, because they put the Coca-Cola with uh, uh, Santa. Santa Claus. No, they created a holiday that doesn't exist. Saint Nick, Santa Claus, all of these things, they took from Vikings and this and that, and they put it together and they merged it. They made the Western and version they, of Christmas. And they Christmas. made the Western version and they made it the most important fucking... That's why, that's why a so, lot sort of, of like the Muslims Day. look at us and be like, bro, are you dumb? Yes. Like... That's why, though, Cypriots and Greeks, what's our biggest celebration? Easter. Easter. Easter, like the rest of the world, like it was for thousands of years. The Western world, though, took Coca-Cola and Santa Claus, made him red. He used to be blue, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, but it didn't match, you know, statistics and this and that and blah, blah, blah. It didn't stick out as much. <laughs> Human oh, psychology, blah, 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 blah. He was blue and now he's red and he's been red for about 50 years or whatever. And they made Christmas what it is and... Uh, you know, multi go multi buy toys for people. Yeah, you got to buy presents. Yeah, otherwise you're a bad person. Okay, you yes, know. you're spend terrible. Money. Yes, if spend you don't spend money on someone, do you really love them? Huh? It's a do real you? gauge. It's it a real gauge. It is. So you yeah, that's uh, that's didn't just spend enough money on me. That yeah, is you just did. that's fucked. It is. I hate that, bro. Yeah. That is just proof that you know. People say we live in a simulation. No, we don't live in. A sim we we live in a man-made fucking. 
zone. Like it, it doesn't really exist. They've made it and everyone just goes along with it with many, many other things. Well, too. the way we live now is only what? The last 100, 200 years? Less. More or less. less. You know? Depends. Before that, it was Yeah, it depends how you look at it. If you look from the, what's it called? The industrial era. Mm -hmm. Let's say from then, yeah? But, the really, same. but really, the, the, the modern, the best time to be on planet Earth, mm -hmm. especially in the Western world, the peak of humanity, of what they would want it to be again, I mean, yeah. not of actual humanity, was from like the 1945 until like 1975, right? After the Second World War. So those were just with a job, you could buy a house, a car, go study, your kids, your wife ha can stay at home. You don't, just with mm -hmm. one job, life was perfect for how many years? 35, 40 years, maybe. That was the best time. We're talking about America as an example. That was the best time in the Western society. After that and before that. So really, what everyone's fighting for only really worked for 40 years. Not even. And not even, yeah. Not even. Yeah, but then because they got you greedy. Had Vietnam War and all that shit. Oh, bro. And then they got greedy. We just yeah, talked about the Western War. world. Yeah. The whole other world was, you know. Mm. <laughs> so with Christmas in Cyprus, it was a version, the version of it in Cyprus was you uh, decorated your fishing boat. No tree. Yeah. Well, but 1st of January, though. Right, 31st of December, you know, 1st of January. And they still do that. Because it was, the whole point of Christmas is the birth of Christ. Mm -hmm. The whole point of the year is according to Jesus. So they did the simple math and then they were like, oh yeah, so at the last day, the first day is the day he was born. Right? Simple. No, it's, it's, that's it. Is it? No, it's 2024 yeah. years since Jesus was oh, born. Oh, that, yeah. Yeah, so why the fuck do they do it on the 25th? The last day of the year is the 31st. The first day is the 1st of January. You know, you know the, why, yeah? In those no. five days, they will no. generate what, millions. What, what was the main religion before Christianity? Before Jesus came about? I don't know. Pagans. I think they call them pagans. or Pagans. Yeah, but what is that religion? I think pagan isn't what they call everything else. Basically, it's Id uh, idololatria. Yeah. Id Idol worship. Idol worshiping. Yeah. yeah. yeah? Okay. Greeks had a version. Yeah. Chinese had a version. So basically, because they already had a holiday on the 25th, on the 25th of December 25th. Okay. to help the adjustment for the pagans, mm -hmm. yeah, that newly turned Christian. Um, yeah, they. They just changed. They basically Instead of changing just took, the date, they changed the it, celebration. It's not just with that. Yeah, it's with a lot of them. They just use the same dates and just switch what we're celebrating. Yeah. You know, so people, are, they're already in that mode. They're yeah. already used to those days. It's easier to just they adjust to that. They don't have to, to change that. the system. They just change the point. Yeah, nobody questions it. Yeah, because you know? supposedly Fucking Jesus joke. got born in the summer, right? Jesus was born I don't in the know summer. that, but summer just like that. the math that you're selling me yeah. doesn't make sense. Doesn't add no. up. You're telling me it's 20, 24,000 years since Jesus was born. Mm -hmm. Therefore, we have that I scale. Why is his birthday on the 25th? Because... Does December have 31 days? Yes. Because those seven days is when uh, God was making earth. So he gives you seven days. No, but he, Jesus was after that. I know. So uh, I don't know. Stop confusing like, it. I mean, it could be 30 months. That would make more sense, wouldn't it? Just have 28 days in no, each month. No, it couldn't because if you because do... Because of the leap year, if yeah? You go, if you do the math, it's it the doesn't take year. exactly 300... And, it doesn't take exactly 24 hours for us to go around... Uh, around ourselves. Mm -hmm. It takes 24 hours and I, I did the math once, Couple I think minutes. 15 minutes or four minutes or something like that. And then you yeah, keep adding it up, adding it up, adding it up. Every four years is a full 24 hours. Yeah, so it makes so, sense. So why don't we just do 30 months, 28 days, and then just do 29 on a leap year like we do now? Because then the numbers aren't enough. What numbers? You, some months are 30, some months are 31. You need that one to catch up. There's always anyway, ways to do it. So over here, we learn, we die, we get buried. There's a cross put on our uh, burial site, on our tomb or whatever. A little message. A little message or whatever. A little poem or whatever. And depending on how you lived your life, you go upstairs or downstairs, right? Supposedly. To be fair, we weren't taught about St. Peter at the gate or anything no, like that. That's this, an American. Not so much the Orthodox. Though. Catholic It's more thing, Catholic. Yeah. Um, I mean, it's a fun story and Good thing to or look just go up there and be like, you, you get you get stopped by a bouncer up at heaven. Yeah, and he's like, hey, 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 hey. 
Yeah. Hold on. Yeah. Show, show me your papers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Who are you? Show what me, you done? What are you me, done in your show life? Show me your karma. Sh- show me your karma. Yeah, imagine if that's how it worked. That would suck. Yeah, why? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. I don't know how they're judging it on what scale. What would be considered There's bad? There's a whole book about it, bro. Yeah, yeah. They call the Bible. I know, but it's too long a read. You know, it's, it's boring. Just, that's the instructions. Nah, nah. If that's I, the if instruction I read, manual. Steve, if I read the Bible, then I've got to read the Quran, and yeah. then I've got, to, you know, I've got to go through the religions. Steve Harvey's got a bit where you know, you're standing in line to get to the, to the gates, to heaven. Mm-hmm. You're, you're in front of it. And you know, you know you've messed up. So you're just sitting right in line like, ah, you know, looking around. Like, Shit. Oh, easy. I think I'm good, I'm good. Yeah. And then you get there, you're like, God. It's your boy. Bro. Come on, man. Just, just, you know, it's me, bro. Yeah, just just let me, let's go. Just let me go, yeah? Now you're trying to, <laughs> trying to sneak negotiate in. your way through, you know? As if he hasn't made up his mind yeah, already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, what do you know about, um, like, other religions, Hinduism? What do they believe in when they die? I think they have a few versions of reincarnation there. Because they have, they have lots of gods, don't they? Yeah. I like think lots of I think they they a lot of them are of the reincarnation part. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't yeah, know. I mean they still consider people today that are born reincarnations of gods and they worship them, don't they? There you go. Yeah, you know, like um, uh, you know the people that uh, they have abnormalities, uh, tumors and things. Yeah. Like the elephant man sort yeah, of thing. Yeah, yeah. Um, they have someone like that and they worship him they as a god he's because a god. he's an elephant god. They have an elephant god. Yes, one of the gods. One of the gods. Yeah. What's the Dalai Lama? Is that another one? I um, think that's Buddhism, isn't it? Yeah, but that's yeah. still Asian. It's I know, but it's a different religion. Yes, but it's it's the same person being uh, reincarnated every time. Well, yeah, it's that's the whole well, yeah, idea, right? It's much. the same guy that every time he dies, he comes back as a child, and yeah. he comes to us to the temple, and you know we look after him until he's mm-hmm. there to lead us. There's a whole movie about it with Brad Pitt, Seven Years in Tibet. Yeah. Uh, good film. Very, very old movie, but very good movie. Mm-hmm. Um, so reincarnation, I think that's a big one. Phoebe made a couple of jokes about that, mm-hmm. you know. And if you kind of look at the surface level of science, you can kind of, like we said, an energy, floating, know, baby. Do they have, I don't know. Do they have a version of hell? You ever heard of one from... Hinduism or Buddhism? No, I've heard. I think they they like to they just like lost say spirits. that hell is more of a state of mind. So let's say you could live on this earth and it could be hell. Mm-hmm. And you can live on this earth and it could be There's hell. There's people that believe that we're at like... Um, then how, why do they have we're karma? Here? Here. So good karma, bad karma. So with good karma... Good things happen to you, bad karma, yeah, bad but things What's a good you? thing that happens to you, to you when you die? Get reincarnated or move on? So the reincarnation, is, it, the, maybe, is maybe, it their reward or is it the punishment? Maybe they get a choice. I think their fear is that uh, there's no hell. It's Their hell is the end. Oh, like life doesn't continue. Yeah, no, I don't yeah, think they... Yeah. Th- no, they're very spiritual. I don't think they think, oh... No, that's the if ultimate... If I don't do it, I that's say the it. Ultimate, get deleted. Yeah. You know? Like, <laughs> no, I don't think that's I what it know. is. Like the ultimate hell for them is mm-hmm. to die. Yeah. Or maybe, like maybe, maybe what's way. your own opinion of this? Maybe is it a depressive, karma. depressing matter? Look, I, uh, I've, I, I've been to a few funerals mm-hmm. and I'm very like, I like to use my logic with death Yeah. at a funeral. If you're my great grandmother and you're 96, I won't be happy. I'll yeah? be relieved that you're not in be, pain anymore. No. It d- depends. I she had, might have I been went super that. healthy. Even if she was super healthy. The only thing you've got to deal with is missing that person. The other thing is watching Jordan Peterson, it says at your dad's funeral, you better be the strongest one there. And there's a whole theory of why, but that's got to do more with, you know, the healthy being. Mm. Anyway, uh, the, the point for me is that I know that it's not the end. That's yeah. what I feel. That's what I want to know. Mm-hmm. Even if I'm wrong, I, I'm never going to say I'm 100% right, you know. But I know and what I want to know is that it's not the end. The only thing you've got to deal with is that from now that you're dead until the day I die, I'm not going to see you. Cool. That's not what I'm asking you though. What? Is it a happy or is it a sad event? How are you perceiving it? What are you... Well, that's what I'm telling you. That's what okay, I'm explaining. So- it's in the transition of from the Western world 
and the whole world showing you that is sad. Mm-hmm. Now I'm kind of in the middle. And when I, because this is a new idea into my head the past few years, by the time I've, you know, I will see the actual happiness behind it. Now, there's many other religions that at their, their funeral, funeral, they wear white instead of black because they're celebrating. I think the question you're asking is, are you afraid of dying? Personally, no. Yeah. Is that or anyone or dying around me? I, kind of. Yeah, I don't fear death. No? I don't, it doesn't stress me because out. It doesn't give I me anxiety. I don't think it's the end. I know, but don't you feel like if you were to die tomorrow, you wouldn't be scared? Not and even you a little. If you knew it was coming. A hundred percent not, I swear. You yeah. wouldn't be scared? No. You would. Bro. It's human to be scared of death because whatever we may believe or think, we don't actually know until that moment I, happens. I Bro, think what's let, scary is the pain of this. Right. So you're confusing dying with how you're going to die. I would be. No, sc- no, no. Even if you. If I knew you're gonna that I'm going to go to your sleep, sleep and I'm yeah. going to wake up tomorrow and I won't be here. No, you won't wake up tomorrow. That's and what I'm, I'm saying. I'm not going to wake up tomorrow. Yeah. I have no fear of that. Because I know, first of all, let's say it is doomsday. I'm dead, so it's all right. I don't no know one that. Cares, yeah, yeah, I don't know that. Secondly, if it's not doomsday, then I'm happy because right. I know what's happening. Do you believe in ghosts? Yeah, spirits. Yeah? No, no, ghosts. Yes. Of dead people coming back. Yeah. Yes. Okay, explain this to me. Okay. Why is it whenever you see ghosts, yeah, they're always wearing like what they were wearing when they died sort of thing, supposedly. I don't I don't think that's... But have you seen many ghosts? I haven't seen any ghosts. I okay. don't think that's true. I think huh? you see mostly faces and, you know, uh, shapes and you don't actually see... And even if you do, so what? So if you yeah. turn into a ghost, you, you, you don't... It's not just like from the moment you die... That's what you are. That's what you wear. That's what you look like. That's it. No. No? I, I don't know if I believe in ghosts the same way you see them in movies. No, that's no. definitely not what you I mean. Know, like, I don't believe them in that way. No. Yeah. What way do you believe in them? I ain't no Caspers and no fucking... Like maybe <gasps> a breeze, you know, like... An energy, bro. Yeah, it's like <laughs> a little fart. <laughs> an like, energy. Oh, I'm cold. You know, like, I don't know. I don't know. An energy. Do you... I feel like there's some sort of energy in my house at times. There definitely is. Always. Because. That's how I know it's not the end. All right. My, my girlfriend freaks out. Just can't see in shit. In the house when I'm not yeah. there. <laughs> For a while. She freaks out sometimes because the cat will just, just, just stare at a corner. Just stare at, like, at nothing. There's nothing there. There's no know, fly. Bro. There's I no know. insect. There's no nothing. I've watched And she's cat. like, she's Some, on something, it. Something's there. Yeah. yeah. All right. She won't move. And then she'll just leg it. I like to watch her and him. I've got two cats mm-hmm. and I like to watch. I'm like, now, what are and, they I, and, and I actually, I put the light on and the flash just to check if there's an insect I can't see uh-huh. or something, you know, just to double check, triple check if I can. S- the so truth yeah. is our eyes are they shit. They can't perceive yeah, they nothing. Can't, they're just shit, bro. But it's not even about eyes, I think. Um, so this is my understanding of ghosts, all right? Yeah. We are in this world right now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. While we're here, yep. there is another world somehow, whether it's at a different vibration, different frequency, different dimension. I don't know the fucking language to no, that's, explain. That's pretty all the right. Same, yeah. That's, what, that's but, the word yeah. that I've heard used the most. Yeah, so it's here, but it doesn't interact with each other. It doesn't, it's just on the same it's level. Like parallel. Yeah. yeah. So we're, like we're, a mirror ghosts, image. we're ghosts to them. Just to someone else. Ca- you know, kind of thing. It's like thing. the radio Maybe. station, right? Right. That's right. all it is. Exactly. Different frequencies. That's all it is. Sometimes they overlap. Just like the radio station when you drive through an antenna or a bomb goes off mm. or too much electricity or 5G or See, I don't know. Funny enough. Something. That's a nice sun, uh, You know, Funny enough, know. that is the oldest. It's a nice idea. Yeah, listen, that is the oldest and the newest idea. We've filtered it a billion times to try and think, well, the world's filtered it a billion times to try and find ways to make money over such a subject. But really, that was the first idea. And now they're rediscovering that, oh, actually, that's how it is. Frequencies. We've got, so when they say heaven on earth, that's, literally, that, that's, in, that's, a, that's how I see that sentence. Mm-hmm. Heaven on earth, you know, like there's a version of earth where it's a heaven. There's, and, a, you know, like, there's a way that can't even fit our brains. That every single possible scenario that could have been, has been and will be. Yeah, yeah Murphy's Law. Yeah. Like now, you to be here with dreadlocks and me to be bored. Example. 
There's a version of that. You talk, you go in parallel. Infinite. You go in parallel. There is dimensions. infinite versions that's the multiverse. of everything. That's a yeah, different that, that's thing. That's the multiverse. Yeah, but it has to do with energies and frequencies. Yeah, yeah, but not in the sense of death like we're no, talking about. No, not if you die. That's just as yeah. you're alive. So I think that's what ghosts are. And through some kind of phenomenon of something, some of the ghosts like break through the dimension. I don't know how. Don't ask me. And they get stuck here. Right, then they start haunting places. Yeah, start, right? start popping and up randomly. Yeah, but then with Again. The, the same theory though, s something like a werewolf might exist there, you know, something like a vampire. I don't know because then you get those, those. Uh, yeah, we'll have, have a there, better understanding of those. I mean, all it is, bro. That what I've realized with the humans is like, oh, I like this subject. So let's uh, when when someone likes that subject, and they they have done. That's why there's books about this. You let it's your just you. Read. What do you like? Yeah. Which one are you gonna read? The werewolf one, the yeah. fucking ghost one, the hocus pocus. You have a bias. Are you doing the voodoo shit? Yeah, are you doing the appeals to Jesus you the most. Christ? What, yeah. what do you want? The truth is that it's not just oh you're dead. Good night. Finished forever. But again, you don't know that either. A hundred percent you don't know that. A hundred percent, but know? I'm saying uh first of all that's the most depression depressive version. <laughs> I reckon to, to me that's the most peaceful one. Because yeah. it's it's exactly what's supposed to happen. Infinite endness. But it's ended. It's that's it. it. Just like it ends for your dog and your cat and your and the insect and the fly that just you're the same. Yeah. Possibly. Possibly. Yeah. You know, like and to me, what? that's that's the most. Oh, cool! Have you ever thought about how you uh, how you want to be buried? Like once you're dead, yeah, you how guys, do you want? What do you think about the burning one? I don't know about cremation. that one. That's yeah, the one that doesn't that's make sense on my to list. me because that makes more sense to me than being buried. From wait, from a from a logistics yeah. a, a aspect or from a religious afterlife if I'm gonna aspect. Die I'm not, I'm and not that's, religious at all, so that's not me. part of it for okay. me. If yeah. I'm gonna die and I know that that's the end, as we just said, and there's nothing, yeah, sure, I want to be cremated. You want to be cremated? Yeah, yeah, I want, I want to be the end of me. There's different ways to to deal with you after death. Yeah, there's one that I saw that I really like, which is um, they put you into like a big seed it's like a pod mm. oh yeah I've seen that yeah, right, yeah, 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 right, yeah, yeah that right. one's a really cool one well, yeah. the other one with cremation um, they can take your ashes and they can make you into jewellery yeah, make you into a, a ring or, or a yeah, necklace yeah. or no, something I would definitely go with the water one even though I hate the ocean the water one yeah or like, like a water on, burial. A, on a boat just get eaten by a fish like that that one because of the tradition behind it and oh, Viking yeah. it Grand comes Valhalla. also from the Greeks I mean, they were sending them to the underworld, kind of. Yeah, know, do you know man. what I mean? Was it in the sea? The river? And, and, yeah. and the one you yeah. said with the seed, uh -huh. the plant, that I would love that one, bro. That, I think that's the best one. Imagine that's my having your, one. I know it sounds creepy, but having your granddad buried in your garden. So and just a that, lemon it's tree a tree, bro. Yeah, you just sit in under it, you know that. that know, it's, it's different. This energy is from my granddad. Like, yeah. you know, that's a great. That's the full circle, isn't it? Yeah. Well, apparently that's what it is anyway. I mean, supposedly when they bury you, that's what, but. They yeah. embalm you and they, you know, you get, I don't like the idea of just sitting there getting eaten by worms and all this shit and just mm. slowly I decomposing. I kind of do because I don't, no, I do like it. I don't mind it. Because well, you'll be dead, so it doesn't matter. Because it's part if of the you, circle. if, yeah, if you go back to human no, evolution, I, I know, we were, we kept, bleh, worms. I know, right? but I, I don't want to just be They're dirt. A part I want to be the circle. Like a tree or something. I want to. You will be. No, I know, but not. You're just you're not just, targeted like you're that. You're personalizing it. Yeah, I get that. That's like cool I want to be I like an that. oak tree. But if you, you know think I mean? that in that oak tree there won't be worms, there will be. No, that's fine. That's fine. I'm absolutely fine. It's nature. Yeah. That's all right. So here's I'm my. Just own. saying, I don't like the idea of just sitting there and just rotting away for years to come yeah. Yeah. until I get to that point. So here's my my uh, rebuttal on that. Yeah. From and it's not me saying this. Is Christians? Yeah. Yeah. When Jesus comes back. Mm. Yeah, if we burn, all we can't the, come all back, the yeah? dead people will rise. Ah. Zombies. Yeah, you can't because you're cremated. Right. I don't. I don't want to come back. Like yeah. that. Anyway, that's <laughs> fine. They can keep it. I don't want to be cremated. Yeah, but I don't know. I don't know it's what like, that means, though. When I don't you know cremate what that means. someone, it's like nah. you're done, 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 done. 
Like, uh, no, look, finished. I mean, uh, you do. It's the ash. If the ash turns into a tree, and then the tree is Kiri, I'd be like, oh yeah, cool, that makes sense. You become, yeah. you know what I mean? Become it, an, if an, if an, I start an, scanning the tree and I see brain waves similar to Kiri's, and it responds like Kiri does, and that means he became the tree. Yeah, I'll understand that. Oh well, yeah, his ashes. Well, the ultimate know? way of destruction in nature, other than meteoroids, is fire. Right? Well, not necessarily. Even, fire even gives fire, you rebirth. That's as what well. I'm saying. Even fire, though, has an next step. It burns the fields and it deliberately. Le- it leaves room for the next le- step yeah, to come to, out. So, you know, I don't know. So, that's fire a nice, hurts. It's a nice picture. That <laughs> fire one, hurts, it's but a, it's not it, bad. It's a nice picture to think, yeah, I'll make myself into a tree and I'll live on. It's as also a tree. amazing that you know? fire so represents wanna, life yeah. in a way. Well, I mean, that's uh, actual fire. I kind of it, took us out the animal kingdom. It took us out the darkness. Yeah, that's that's, yeah. that's big. Cute. That's big. That's Very huge. Big. You know? It's light. It's warmth. And, it's protection. And thing, it's uh, fire. Life, is alive. basically. Yeah, the way well, it, it breathes moves. oxygen. It breathes oxygen, right? It's alive. It needs what we need, other than water. It doesn't need water. But uh, bur- <laughs> burning the bodies is a lot of cultures have it. A lot of. Uh, rituals have it mm. so mm-hmm. it's not a just a, a western cremation thing all right yeah that's a big ass fucking oven yeah, fair yeah, enough man. it doesn't look no, nice. I, I think, I think it, that was made it, came, gangsters. it came a lot later on for the western world it's not even from the western world it's not from the western no. world no 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 the greeks went through a, t- a time where they were burning bodies uh-huh. yeah, the vikings i don't know about the egyptians uh i don't know what the chinese used to do what the, the chinese used to do yeah you spoke about they build him a burial site so did they like? Well, they bury people, yeah. Yeah, just I, I don't know if it's just if that's the standard way or no, if they have any other not, practices. No, it's not. It's tra- not. It's not the traditional way we know. What's the traditional? I way? I don't know, but it's definitely burying, and it's got to do. I think they also have. We're not talking about the ritual before that, but like the actual end of it. They just bury you. They don't yeah, burn but you. They, or they have, don't. I think they've got ranks again. They got ranks. Yeah, like. Uh, levels like yeah you won't be buried like at two meters you yeah no you, no be more i mean like it's a meters. different ceremony for a different type of but place. everyone's well, yeah it's the same with but us though, as well yeah well, it, no, no, but no, like, ours is the size of the tombstone and what it's made of and that's the, the status and, and the amount of people that show up yeah when well, you die yeah yeah that's true as well how um, many people are going to come pay their respects to you once yeah. you're gone yeah but it's you know, if the you're most, part of a community... You know, the most depressing one I've ever seen was the dog crying on his... On his tombstone. On his uh, owner's tombstone. That was by far... I know it sounds bad seeing kids and what... That dog, bro, is just... It's weeping. Like, it's like Hachi, man. Yeah. Shouldn't bury him. Get him out, get him yeah. out, get him out. Maybe the dog knows something. I don't Maybe know. he just wanted some uh, bones. Put the dog ah. down with him. Send them together. No, don't put the dog down. And then the cat the comes and just takes a shit on your grave, bruv. Hey, Fucking fertilizer cats, bro. for the uh, for the why, why are you hating on cats again? I'm not. Hey. You want cats <laughs> oh, home, I'm just pointing out that they hate us. We just don't know it. To bars or bars to minutes because this is bars. Like we just doing every few seconds. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's fine. Where are you going? I'm gonna go pee. Uh, go go bus. Go bus. Me and Kiru uh, carry we'll the Keep shot. it going. Yeah. So Andoni's gone to take a massive shit. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you being a prick? Uh, he said he no, had diarrhea this Death morning. doesn't stress me out. Untimely death, uh, not even my own, of a loved one mm-hmm. is scary as hell. Well, it's the unpredictability. Right. You can't prepare for it. Yeah. So anything bad happening to someone you love and someone around you and that being the cause of them passing away, that is horrifying. Mm-hmm. And I wish for no one to experience that, even though that's very naive. It's everyday and life. very unrealistic. Everyday life. Yeah. People die all the time. But when it comes to my own death, I have no no stress about it. No worry about it. I, I, no I, control I, over it. I, no. The one thing that scares me, I don't want to go out Painfully. suffering. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to go out suffering like Slow some death. people do. Uh, yeah, I really don't want that. No. Right, because if it gets to that, I might do something about it. Let's well, keep I, it there. I've always uh, YouTube. I've always said that if I ever got very ill to the point where I can't even look after, like I can't even go to the loo by myself. Yeah, I can't go to the Wipe toilet. Wipe my own ass, basically. Yeah. If I get to that point, then. 
it's time. I, I, what's Forget the point? about it. My quality of life just gone to shit. Yeah. I, I, now I'm just a burden on the people around yeah, me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're always. Mm. Yeah, don't say I, that, I don't want to. I don't want to. It's be like not that. good for anyone to end up like that. No. no. That's why there should. Uh, euthanasia should be a real thing. It should be an option. It should. It should be an option. It's very strange that. That it's uh, not. No, no. If, uh, no. That in America, if you try and kill yourself, don't you go to jail? If, if you, you don't succeed? No, you probably go in a mental ward or something. But there's punishment, is what I'm saying. No, I think the worst thing they I think pr- you probably you probably have to pay I think the punish f- for the ambulances and all this shit that goes with it. Oh yeah. For yeah. saving you because yeah. nothing's free in America. America. So I mean at the end of the day, shouldn't it be your option? Uh, the, the Japanese mad respect to them, they have a whole ritual about look, if you wanna stop living, do this. Harakiri. Yeah. And and Honorable but you death. only do this. Don't do anything else because that's you pushing out. Mm-hmm. You have to do it this way so you can move on with honor, yeah. right? Because what you chose is not honorable to begin with, but might as well do it honorable, yeah. right? So at least they give you the option. Is it seppuku or something? I, I don't something know, like but it's it's respectful, you mm-hmm. know. I, I have respect for that. It's a it's a ritual. It's it's it a is cool a whole thing. ritual. It's, a, it's, it's a whole pretty ritual. cool to think that when they're about to lose a battle, they do that, yeah. right? So they, because they hate prisoners. They hate the it's not just prisoners that. of war. No, because they're all about honor. Everything yeah. you do has got to be honorable, yeah. right? No, that's and why prisoners are not honorable, because they gave up. That's what I'm saying. So You yeah. should die. You do it we because fight you failed. Yeah, yeah, you, know? you failed at your task, so the honorable thing to do is kill it, yourself. Yeah, yeah. Wow. It's, <laughs> so I think, why is that so... They're not, they're not big on mistakes, get, are they? I, I get it if some people try and do that because they're in a bad place and they shouldn't be doing that, right? But at the end of the day, if no, you're for suffering... For a lot of people, it's the coward's way out as yeah, well. But if for you're example, suffering at, at the age of 60, 70, 80 mm-hmm. through medical and you're dying a very slow and painful death, yeah. you should have that option. Yeah, It's yours. Yeah. Marriage is you know? one of... The, there's, no, yeah, because I'm sorry. You divorce, so basically, you know? no, no, because what they're saying is... If I turn around and say, listen, I'm in so much pain, I am dying. There is no cure for me. I, I'm going to die. And it's only going to get worse and more painful mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and dragged out. Yeah. And I'm telling you, I want you to help me euthanasia. Yeah. Right. Help kill me peacefully so I can move on to the next stage if there is one or whatever. Yeah. And you're saying, no, it's illegal. You have no right to do that to yourself. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But then I can go home and just kill myself. Mm-hmm. And then that's fine. Mm-hmm. They're, no responsibility for them. Mm-hmm. There's a scene in the butterfly effect, bro, where he's disabled in one of the yeah. ways. Versions. Yeah. yeah. And he's in the bath and he's trying to kill himself and he can't. Mm. He's trying trying to drown and he was so upset, he's like, I can't even fucking kill myself, bro. Mm. He's got no arms. Do you mean unalive you sir? Unalive himself. You said it earlier. I know, bro. I know, yeah. I'm joking. Yeah. But yeah, um, I don't know, man. Like Listen, it's not it's, also, it's not an easy thing to do. But if you're at the point where it is basically the end and you're just saving yourself a lot of pain and grief. Yeah, but it you, depends how far your religion is, bruv. Uh, Bob Marley could have had the operation, right? But he didn't because of his dreadlocks and he chose to die slowly because that was his fate. He could have just, the fact that he didn't fix himself is also the fact that I'm not going to make this faster. It's the same principle. Do you understand? So you saying you wouldn't? No. You you just suffer it out. If I'm about that, I think it's more correct to just because after it's linked to killing yourself, and that is. But but we do that it. To, could be, we do it to animals, right? To put them out of their misery. Yeah. So why? How are we more how, cruel? It doesn't to mean ourselves? that's correct. You don't think it's correct? No. Okay, so your dog. Yeah. Yeah? Bro, he's got an Relax. Into, yeah, yeah, no, I'm just giving you examples here. Yeah, God forbid something were to happen. He got hit by a car, yeah. all right? His hips are like yeah. fucked up. He's in pain. It cannot be repaired. Are you letting him live out his days in pain? Me letting him and not letting him, me making that decision doesn't yeah. mean that whatever decision I make is the correct one. That's what I'm trying to say. No, I'm just saying I you're don't personal. There is no right or wrong. I'm asking you, what is your personal belief on the I would probably go with the, uh, the, the... Put him down. Yeah, but it doesn't mean I, I am, I'm 100% sure that that's correct. Are you still... 
I don't know. <clears throat> but you still I don't do. know if I would. I don't know if I would. I think I would. I know where I stand for this. Like 100%. Yeah, yeah. If my dog is sitting there suffering and there is nothing we can do to help ease that pain. Yeah. Why am I putting this dog through just misery and pain the rest right, of its maybe days? Maybe to make the decision for something else that hasn't got the power to make the decision for itself. Maybe, but for myself, yeah, I, I'm not saying euthanasia is it should be used as like just a suicide tool. No, but that's what I'm saying it, it for myself. Be literally, though. Yeah, it should be reserved literally for people like it is now. How it is being used in countries where it is legal, right? like Switzerland. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like you have to go through a whole series of interviews and tests and all this sort of things to, to get approved. Yeah, to get approved to know yeah. that you're you're of sound mind. Look, the truth this is, decision. bro, you don't know until you're there. If if you're if you're going through hell and pain every day, yeah, man, like everyone it's will be not. like, you know what, fuck it. I think but if you're just dying of cancer slowly, slowly, there's people out there that live their life every day and they there, they're in pain, but they're still okay to not pull the trigger. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it's not for them. I'm saying, but for people that the pain, it, th there's people that have been born ill and yeah, well, their whole is, life they, has been suffering. I just don't and know dying. if that's the right decision. That's what I'm saying. So, I can't be sure. I think the default is this because a lot of animals, I know for a fact, cats, right? Break each other's spines, don't they? No, no. When they it's do. time, when it's to time die. for an old cat, it knows mm -hmm. and it goes where it needs to go to die. Right? Mm -hmm. I've seen that. I've experienced Ooh. that. Ah, I've, you know, I, I know that happens. And I, I'm sure there's other animals that do the same. Or a dog might come say goodbye. You know, it might be like, go oh. out of his way, out of oh, its habit dog, to do a something. A dog got run over in, uh, on the highway in Yeroskibu somewhere and it walked back to Mandria to my mum's uh, friend's house who has the dog. And it died outside the, the front door. Okay, so it went home. It went home you know? to die. Or if it's sick or old, it might come. Oh, it's going to make me cry. Let's know? not talk about yeah, dogs and shit but anymore. What I'm saying, that's the default. It literally and, is, yeah. and I think that's, if you don't have a lot of intervention from the medical and Western world and cancer and sugar and all that shit, the default thing for the human body is to realize, yeah. oh, the end is coming. I think a lot of people who die of natural death, when they go to bed, they kind of feel it. What is the percentage they of kind of feel death it, of these days? And they kind of feel, oh, I'm not waking up tomorrow. Also, right? um, most people before they're about to die, like they're dying of a slow disease yeah. or something, cancer, for example, yeah. they tend to get slightly better towards the end. They get like a little burst a of burst. energy for a couple of days. Yeah. Or a day I've or so. I've seen that, yeah. And then they just, yeah. It, it happened with my granddad as well at some point. Because uh, what I'm, w one thing I've seen is um, like a ranch type of situation in the States, yeah? Mm -hmm. And an old man, he was part of the group there and whatever. And one day he just didn't do his thing like normally, like every day for the last 60 years. He just got his horse and he went into the woods. He didn't even ride it. He went into the woods, he tied it there. He sat down on a tree, he put his hat down and he just died. He knew. I think but, those but, people know that but it's why not did the he, end. Why did he tie the horse? He wanted to die with his friend. And so he wouldn't run away. Someone found them. His kids, uh, his kids would, would okay, have found Okay, I was going to say, he didn't just like... No, no, no. The, the kids would have seen the horse okay, at some point and be like, oh, the horse is there. That's dad's horse. Oh, dad's here. Dead. Don't worry, he put you know, water and food. Is, Don't worry. But no, was he was under a tree. He was under a tree. to die with him. Like, that's no, a bit you much. know, so that, that's like he knew. He knew, yeah. oh, I'm going to die now. I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready so to the, die. So the Egyptians, know? for example, they knew all about the afterlife. Apparently. Yeah. 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 So, you know, a lot of them were buried with... With stuff. With a lot of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In fact, one of the studies they've done with... Uh, anyway, cannabis. Don't. Anyway. With, cannab <laughs> with cannabis and the Egyptians, because they knew from back then that cannabis could be... And I'll get to the point... <laughs> And this is the fact. Medicinal. One of the one of the queens or princesses or whatever. Pharaohs. She was buried with uh, ounces of marijuana next to her, right? And she had breast cancer. Listen, we know for a fact that. Do you understand what I'm trying to say? Like, it's, listen, that was her medicine. From then, they were very advanced, though. 
like Way the Egyptians. Beyond what we can even think about. Yeah, the ancient Egyptians. Bro, they 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 understood anatomy completely. Yeah, yeah. Like to mummify someone, yeah. like they figured that shit out. Yeah, it's yeah, not yeah. an easy. And we're talking about thousands of years ago. They yeah. figured That's this just out. One of the million of examples that how yeah yeah extraterrestrial or basic whatever you want to call it yeah that's just not like you got some you want to look at the missing somewhere. link in our evolution you got to start from somewhere there bro because fucking hell bro even before that's that a, that's an interesting though ritual and process i think we've gone over the one hour mark but it's fine um it's an interesting ritual to to f- somehow figure out they came up with the whole system of yeah let's Let's mummify take out them. the organs. Let's take out the organs. And, and Let's put they didn't just stuff. chuck the organs away. No. They, they had a specific oh, role yeah, for yeah. each organ. But this whole ritual had a goal. Yeah. I'm not sure what the goal was. But well, I think it was in preparation for the afterlife. That's it. That's okay, it. It's a ritual then, for that. Then ask the question, why do you need to be like that to be ready for the afterlife? Is it because you just need to evolve into a spirit and your body holds you down? Like, I don't know. Why think about it like this. Didn't they, didn't they put the Vikings with all the gold? To go with to the Valhalla plunder. with wealth. With, with their stuff. Well, they were sending them with slaves sometimes as well. Exactly. Yeah. To have some slaves. And the slaves of yeah. you yeah. that are still alive. So you enjoy <laughs> Mistresses and things like that. Yeah. yeah. You take them down with Bob you. Bob Marley was buried with his guitar, some weed and a ring that he had. To take with him. Yeah. Yeah. It's, but we all know nobody's them. taking shit with him. No pirates. You know, at the Sorry. end of the day. And yeah, man. You know, you're not taking shit with you. Wherever no, you're going. No, no. Whatever you're doing. I don't know. Unless you're a ghost and you come back with your guitar and your well, spliff. Like, no. You know? If you were taking things with you, there wouldn't be any uh, wandering afterwards, would it? it wouldn't be, you wouldn't be getting thieves going to steal things from but graves. That, that's a Grave thing. robbers. Yeah, that's a big thing. Yeah. But, you know, it's a huge... Especially, it used to be... Back in the days, it used to... When I say back in the days, a couple hundred years ago, like, it used to be a very big thing, yeah, grave yeah, robbing. Yeah, yeah. You know? People had to, like... They, they had to... That's why they had mausoleums and things like that, to protect from grave robbers. The pyramids. Well, I mean, we say the pyramids we, because we think that they were... Tombs. Yeah, but there's... Uh, I mean, there's God, it's theories. too much, man. There's theories. Yeah, it's that's overkill. too much for That's overkill, tomb. isn't it? Like, and how long did it take to build them? Like, and why a few would, hundred years? And why did it have years? to be... So who did they build them for? He only lived 80 years, max... So who told them to build for who? Well, it depends what theory you they were doing. They, they were going, all right, listen, we're going to start building now for, for, your great, for whatever great, great. pharaohs in three generations. All right, it'll be ready at that point. He'll be the best. Yeah. The one, <laughs> the yeah, fifth yeah. one. What if he was the worst one? Did they just skip it for the uh, next guy? I don't know. I don't know. I think that's just, it's not a tomb, right? It can't be a tomb. I don't know. I some, mean, they put them, they, there were bodies in there, but there's, it's there's, not just there's speculation the speculation now that it's, a, it's an actual UFO. Oh, that it flies, bro. That's you, from that's bro, from Stargate. Yeah, bro. If you <laughs> she won. with the gravity and the corners and whatever, because it's not actually four. It's like bended in the the surfaces. It's not just it's not just like that and like that. Yeah, it's literally like that. That's one side. Yeah. So it's a it's not a it's a polygon. Yes, it's uh, not just pyramid. flat. Yeah, and they're like that, like that. Okay, and. It, uh, with a certain speed and a certain the dynamics of it and the fucking physics behind it, it can literally spin around weightless and be a UFO. That's it. Until that's they do one it, of the hundreds. Until of they do it, I don't know. Listen, yeah. aliens will always be the number one conspiracy theory for this yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. Aliens. Yeah. We, if yeah. you can't figure out how humans could have possibly done shit like that, aliens. Giants. That's aliens. the only thing. Giants. Or giants. Gi- I'm talking about giants though, not Megalopithecus. No, no. I'm talking about giants. You're talking about like Game of Thrones 50 giants. meter dudes. Yeah, bro. Oh, that's way too big. That's, that's 10 meter titan dudes. Titan stuff. 10 know. meter dudes walking around, bro. Because the average fucking size of a rock is two tons, bro. The average. So maybe the pyramids are the spaceships that the giants used to escape Mars once they fucked up Mars and they came to Earth. Thanks for Te- tuning in to Terraformed this it with Noah's flood, like we said last episode. Right. Unfortunately, they miscalculated Beautiful. and they died out, the majority of them. Yep. But some of them remained alive to pass on the knowledge or no. Sorry, to manipulate with the DNA structure of the chimps and apes to evolve the ne- and their own DNA structure to evolve the human species and pass on the knowledge. And here we are today. And here we are. 90, 
You know, we should change it to not uh okay. We're ninety-eight point uh three percent the same as chimps, right? Mm. So we should say we're ninety-eight uh, ninety-eight point three percent primate, and that little percent is extraterrestrial. One point seven. Yeah, that one point seven percent is alien. Is the is the giant? We shouldn't say we primate, and that one point seven percent is human. No. We should say we're primate, and that 1.7, what makes us human, we is, are bipedal mammals. Is That's what we are. alien. We're just that 1.7%, though, because, bro, if you look at a gorilla and a chimp and a monkey and a human, we're, it's too similar, right? But that 1.7% changed everything. And it's not the human that changed that, it's the actual extra. So we've covered death, afterlife, aliens, mm -hmm. yeah, bro. DNA, conspiracy, conspiracy theories, everything. Wait, isn't that every episode? Yeah, uh, by this point, yeah. you know, yeah, it's, it's all right. It's fun. Um, anything else you want to talk about? No, you, what, what have you got? Uh, you I, wanted to do something, didn't you? Yeah, it's, uh, we, we kind uh, of covered yeah. it. We I, did. I think we were, we've been going over an hour. Yeah. All yeah. I want to say is that, you know, hell, if that's real, it will be cramped. It will be cramped. Oh, bro. Well, it'll be like fuck it, no, bro. But that's hell, isn't it? Well, do you think hell is just? If you believe in heaven and Eddie hell, Griffin's like, I would or was it uh, Cat Williams? It's like, uh, I don't want to go to heaven. Like, I'll just be walking around and like, there's no one there. <laughs> it's like, hey, you I walk want, into someone. I right, bro. cocaine and bitches. Like, <laughs> yeah, like, if you believe in the idea of heaven and hell, um, it should be like, a personal heaven, a personal hell, because for your own. Yeah, because yeah. we can't. Oh, my idea of heaven and your idea of heaven can't be the same. Yeah, true. You know, or hell for true. that matter. My heaven could be your hell. Exactly. Your hell. Could so be if my you heaven. believe in all that, it's probably personalized. For uh, well, no, person. yeah, because maybe that's why you, you can go with Dante's Inferno depiction of with it with a different level with the seven fucking layers yeah. of hell. But also, there's a guy out there that wants drugs. Bitches, lights, all night, right? That's, yeah. German, that's, that's heaven, heaven right? yeah. to him. But to me, you it's and hell. Chris, that's actual hell, bro. Like, yeah. I can't see. Turn can't the fucking hear. music down. It's smoky in there. Like, but I need some her. hydration. <laughs> this isn't music. But my yeah. heart's vibrating you from the speakers. Any, uh, you got, you, <laughs> have you had that before? Do you, do, do me, you have spring water? <laughs> <laughs> Sliced lemon. Got I some need some, with uh, a bit of ice. Like, you know when you go home and you're like. That, that was me last night. Everyone was drinking and whatever. And I've got to walk up to the bar and I'm like, can I have soda with some lemon and ice, please? Just, pinch of, a, you know, pinch of lemon. He's like, yeah. No, oh, yeah. boys, if we're going to drink, I, I put this to practice once and we'll do it again. What? Tequila. Tequila. It's the only no, one. My, my girl loves tequila. It's <laughs> the only one, bro. It's the only one that if you're going to drink, you can actually benefit from it. Everything else is bad for you. <laughs> I'm just not going to drink. That's I'm just my saying. Solution. You don't drink. No. Yeah, it's, if we it's... go to drink, tequila's the way, bro. Well, it's tequila I and water. I like to, the idea of drinking shots. Not, nah, not nah. drinking a, a glass, right? Bro, no. We're talking just about shots. shots. No, just... I can, yeah, do, yeah, I can yeah. do vodka like that. You but can tequila's do better for you. It's I, don't, actually I don't like the taste. No, I'm like, uh, bro. Well, get that. Uh, I can't get yeah. a nice taste. Arguably, one. out there, I've tried. I, out I don't there. do whiskey. I don't do tequila. I don't do My brandy. Brother, all that shit. You had there's different tastes right. in tequila. You're, you know those Cypriots that have one type of sushi? Yeah. No, I hate sushi. Yeah. You're doing that right now. No, no, but I'm not because I haven't just tried what. Like I've tried throughout the years. People have put drinks in front of me. I've tried them, and I'm like, ugh, I was horrible. I can't fucking. Let's be have honest. That. If I we'll get saw a nice you out with a margarita, bro. Huh? Margarita, will you? It'll do it for you. I'm saying just juice, bro. I'm right margarita. with some juice. He's a strawberry, not a raspberry. No, he, he's, he's a, a, he'll go with a classic one too. Daiquiri. Mm. Yeah. No. Strawberry. No, no margarita, margarita not daiquiri. Margarita's tequila. The daiquiri is uh, rum. 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 Yeah. rum. Rum, rum, rum. A strawberry daiquiri. And on that note, strawberry daiquiri. That's episode twenty-seven. Thank what you for being do? here. Remind people to like, subscribe, and whatever. Let us know what you want us to talk about next episode. I don't know. If you want to see uh, pictures of my abs, just uh, DM me. And I'll go don't bring your Anthony's, girlfriends. Go, go on Anthony's uh, Facebook, Instagram profile. Yeah, man. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm whatever very, it is, Anthony's I'm ninety-two. Gonna, I'm gonna see why ninety-two. That that's the one. Put a link Anthony down that. there. When yes, you say that. Boris, put a link on Anthony's Instagram. Just ask for it. I'll send it to you. Uh, Kiri, anything you want to say to the crowd? Don't bring your girlfriends, apparently. 
Yeah, that's come and see us in November. I'm not as fat as I look. We talking on <laughs> <laughs> we talking the, on the tenth. It's the camera Eight, angles. Nine, ten, we're talking on the tenth. On the tenth. On the tenth of November. We're talking on the tenth. We but we're on 10, stage. 11, what day is it? Is eight nine ten. Eight nine ten. We're on on the last day. On the saving last the day. best shit for last. Yep. Obviously. We're going to be on stage doing doing our show. Yeah. So, so that would be nice and weird. Hope to see you there. Yeah. Nice and weird. Yeah, Kiri's stressing out about that. You know that. It's weird. <laughs> <laughs> Is that right? What are we doing? Kiri's really stressing out about that day. Uh, I think I'm gonna get some I'm t-shirts sweating. so we pass t-shirts. Yeah, out. we should do that. Yeah, we should, yeah, we should like get that. some for ourselves first. Yeah, and well, then we'll do the whole thing. I think okay. we should get some thongs and boxes. That's, that's, that's it. gonna be Bye. our merch. You know? Right. Well, <laughs> merch? Oh, yeah. We can watch you try them on. <laughs>